Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of appropriate ages, I am Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to Death Leak. Now, if this is your first time or your hundredth time on my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. By subscribing, you'll be notified when my videos go live daily. I cover live any games, any demos, and content like this for many developers. So if you're not all things indie, you found your home, smash that subscribe button right now. So what is Death Leak? is a 2D twin-stick shooter platformer with an emphasis on exploration. Use the gamepad to fire throwing knives while avoiding enemy projectiles. Explore the world and figure out what caused the massacre of your village. This came out a couple weeks ago in July. It's developed and published by JB. So far it has positive reviews. There's only seven of them so far on Steam. It is a free-to-play game, so in the description below you can go to the Steam page, pick up the full game for yourself to play. Um, it's fully controller supported, which I love. And without further ado, I think we're just going to jump right into it. I don't think there's much else I can say about it. So let's show it off. There we are on the ground with a sword in our belly. When you die, you will lose all your current auras, but keep up or but keep all techniques acquired, keys and other pickups. Good to know. So the right analog stick fires all these daggers. Doesn't seem to be a um A limit to the number of daggers you have. Um, I did a, a sound test on this real quick. So originally there's a note right down there that tells you that right along stick throws uh, right trigger jumps. Oh, that's cool. Anything else? Nope. So the face buttons are basically useless. So I understand why jump. I mean, I can understand why jump. can be a face button, but still, like, right trigger for jump is kind of off-putting to me. Not sure when there's going to be a chance to use the swords, considering that everybody uses projectiles. Oh, we go right or left. Well, we'll go right. Wow, that's a pretty good jump. Oh, I can't land on that branch. It looks like it's... I don't know. The deflect technique deflects projectiles with your knives and your sword. Incredibly effective when attacked by large groups of enemies. So you have to buy that. Which I'm sure we'll forget about it. So far, we're killing it. Well, there's a double jump. I'd even see you. All right, let's do it with you. Yeah, 
you got some health. How are you still alive? Yeah, there's got to be a double jump or something. Because there's a way I can climb a tree. Excuse me? The agility technique move at a quicker pace. Eh. Can I stay? Nope. Eliminate all threats and secure the forts. Leave no ineligible and return all ineligible. Oh man, he got owned super hard. Look at this guy. I'm behind you. Oh geez. You know what? Nope. I mean, we're going to die. I just don't want to... So, uh... The sword technique is a lot... We know it's this direction. I don't understand why we can't land on that branch. So we're going to go through the process of going all the way back. Chicken. You only get really one good angle item at a time. We need to find a way to regenerate health. If such a way exists.
Oh, really? Oh, you can break those. Okay. This looked out of place. So I thought maybe, like, they were checkpoints or... Place to save. You freaking... I didn't even see you last time. There's freaking full health files right there, son of them. Well, we have 350 now. Almost 400. Remember there's an enemy ambush coming up here? So we have almost 500. So we need a key. I got a feeling there's another ambush coming up soon. Interesting, if you're falling off a platform, you get another jump. Good to know. That could definitely help in the future. Since I should be able to cut that rope. So 575 orbs is a lot of orbs. Maybe I should go backwards and buy those, some of those abilities. Why don't you come up here, chickens? Oh, where'd you come from? So I don't really need that. I'm at full health already. Well, I was at full health. Oh, ho, ho, ho. A lot of orbs I need to go back for. You chicken. Freaking chicken. Let's 
threat 800 orbs. Definitely think that gives us the buying power for every power up we've seen so far. Really? I mean, you had every opportunity to come down and fight me, but you chose not to. I'm sure where the edge is. Okay, geez. There's no edge. So let's go back and uh, see what's in this doorway. I know it'd be totally unrealistic, but I need like a teleport system here. Because that's going to be a long run back to those two upgrades. So I need to keep... The dojo is closed until further notice. Military riders are en route. And if you're reading this, you need to evacuate as soon as possible. Thanks. So I'm going to be a coward. And run all the way freaking back. I don't even remember what the upgrades do. I think one of them is a reflect attack. And one gives you faster movement speed. Yikes. Do the enemies respawn is the question. Let's turn out that key. Man, y'all are dumb as hell. So yes, the enemies respawn. That's going to be something to have to deal with. Where did you come from? Oh, that's why. You're freaking smoking behind me. So good to know that it's almost, it seems like it's almost 100%. If you kill them with a sword, they'll drop a, a health up. So that's good to know. We. Still need a lot of keys. Uh, the jelly technique move at a quicker pace. I mean, it's freaking 200 out of like a 1100. I mean, who cares? I don't really don't care about y'all.
Maybe not a double jump. Maybe we just need ability to run faster to get some things. Deflect technique provides you projectiles with the knives of your sword. Deflect projectiles with the knives in your sword. It's a bit iffy. I'm a big fan of that water noise. Let's see what this path brings us. Oh, re the roll technique rolling can just be used to evade enemy projectiles. You also just roll for landing before it falls slowing down. The enemy is doing everything in their power to bring suffering and misery to our home. They blocked our food and water storage with these large stones. They look weak at the top. I wonder if there's something... Must be another technique I need to use. Maybe there's a... Which is like a down thrust technique you can learn. But learning rolling was only like 25, I mean. It seems having that attack is overpowered, and I love it. Two of you, huh? I thought I'd block that, but okay. I mean, roll that. Maybe there's no iframes on the rolls. So maybe it's not a guarantee to get more life on the kill. I really hate to lose all these uh, orbs. But it's not really my choice, so... Focus technique, slow down time, hold the left trigger. That's cool.
Yours. Grain level is critical. Requesting an increase in supply. Grain area key missed. Placed by hooker unknown. That's cool. I don't like that. A wooden boat that seems to have been smashed up on the rocks. It needs repair. Nothing here? I think that it seems like that would be the guy we're looking for. Maybe not. Oh wow, that's cool. Thanks a lot. So I feel like this body's important because it's the only thing here. But I guess not. And that seems to be in that direction. Nothing there. Well, the good case is that we spent a lot of our orbs. So dying with 500 is not heartbreaking. Like, I just don't care about y'all. I don't. A good beat to it. So we need to smash that somehow. I don't know why I'm fighting them. I don't really need anything from them. So now it's going to be a long run back 
to where we were. There we go. The extra damage technique, a huge increase to your, I mean. There's like an underwater cut I can learn, because there's like bodies right there. Ooh, a cave. I don't know what you're saying. Sorry. He's given me uh, health bar increases, which is wonderful. Okay, that's another cave over there. Good to know. It's still gotta be a double jump out there somewhere. I still don't understand. I still think running fast is the key there. I mean, this is normally about the time I would call the video, but I mean, I'm enjoying this way too much. Plus, I don't know if there's a save feature. So I'd hate to play all this time for it not to save. Man, that power up is just melting these enemies. I can imagine. I mean, there were one hit killed my sword anyway, so it's not like that's a big difference. And having the ability to deflect is also very huge. Still no key. Once again, I need to take me by to bust those bricks open. Really, nobody wants to spawn? Okay. Dojo's still closed. Yep. That's not the way to leave.
What are you selling? The extra throwing speed technique. Oh, jeez. I think it opens the door to the dojo, okay? So all we had to do was run one more screen to the right. Oh well. Now run it. Ah. Uh. Oh geez, that one finally came down. See, looks like it would open one of the command, common huts. The downward smash technique. Smash through obstacles with this technique. Press the right bumper in midair to trigger. Exactly what we needed. Boom. We're so much stronger now. They don't know what to do. They're, they're just getting destroyed. So those daggers finally hitting the ground, making that noise. Okay, I was not expecting that. I told Akio about the hidden cave earlier. He was mad at me. He said it was too dangerous diving beneath the waterfall. I told him I've seen a stream of bubbles and had to investigate. That's what I adventurers do. Dang it. Son of a... If I had enough, you'll find most of her body in the water by the falls. So now that we know there's a body in the... Now that we know there's a body in the falls, maybe now it'll give us something. Still need a couple of keys. Still locked. Are they both dead already? It's absolutely destroyed. Hmm. 
Can't cut the rope. Of course, my dash technique doesn't do anything underwater, so... That's still a mystery to us. Now we can go back and smash the other brick to see what's underneath it. Oh, they're not going to spawn? Yeah, they've been beaten too many times. Should be right here, right? Forest granary, okay. Away we go! What if they only spawn so many times? Maybe to keep you from farming the same area over and over again? It's just fun to throw them. Maybe not, because these people spawn every freaking time. And they're just a joke. right here oh that's the way in okay Assortment of woodworking tools that could be useful for preparing something broken. The boat? I guess that was the uh, last locked door, right? Maybe I need the boat to get to the body. Or maybe the boat's the end. Who knows? They better not spawn again. They're just embarrassing themselves at this point. Good. Really? Why do you do it to yourself? Do they only spawn if I go under? Yes. Interesting. I haven't really seen a need for uh, the slow time so far. Over that hole. I'm not really worried about 
kill anybody. My health is good. And my orbs are way over. There's probably nothing left to buy. He already went in there. The achievement is I'm in a boat. It's behind my webcam, but... Is that just the beginning? Or is that the end? I'm not too sure. Guess that's the end. Wow, that was a lot of fun. Uh, about 45 minutes worth of, of gameplay. It's It can be difficult at the very beginning if you don't know what you're doing. Um, definitely collecting the skull. Uh, the souls will be very useful not losing like 500 right at the get-go but if you'd like to play this for yourself uh in the description below you'll find a link to the game on steam it is free to play i highly recommend it. it's a lot of fun uh thanks to jb for making the game and making it free this could easily be like a three five dollar game for sure if you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe as always lets me know i'm doing a good job also helps me with the youtube algorithm you watch and you like it they show it to more people so forth and so on I'll be back again tomorrow with more new games, any demos, great content like this from the developers. And until then, my Wounded Warriors, I'll haunt you later. Yeah.